hey, I just wanted to go over a few reasons why your print might be shorter in a slicer. So one of the things that is a pretty common question, especially for new users is, hey, my print here says that the max depth is two, but I'm actually only getting 1.56 or 1.6. What's going on? Well, first you need to look at this actual depth. So based on your sliders and the depth modes, which I talked about in the last video, your depth could be different from the uh, max depth. That's very common. But even more common for a question is someone who knows what the actual depth is and looks and says it's two, three, four layers short, or it's 50% shorter or things like that. The first thing you need to check for, did you resize it in the slicer? If you scaled it in the slicer, especially if you scaled it down and you didn't scale it non-uniform, then the Z is scaling along with the X and Y and everything's gonna shrink. Now, scaling up in the slicer is generally okay, you're gonna get, especially if you do it non-uniform, make sure you only scale X and Y. You're gonna get bigger details. It's gonna actually be easier for your nozzle to print smoothly. But scaling down is generally not a good idea. You should scale down here using the height and width at the top rather than in the slicer because you're reducing the detail size, which is gonna increase the chances of clogging and stringing and bad artifacts. But there's another case, and it can be quite severe, where my actual depth says 1.56, but in my slicer, it says 1.12. So here we can see that even though Hueport says this was a 1.56 millimeter actual depth, the slice depth is 1.12 millimeters. That's not what Hueport said. So what's going on here? It says that it is 1.12 millimeters tall and a bunch of layers are missing. Now, the first thing to tell you is in this case, you're going to get what was predicted. It's not gonna change anything. Um, and I can prove that to you because I can change this to clip depth. All right. Oh, wait. Nah, I have to change this to 1.56. 1.56. So now everything's the same except we're in clip depth mode, right? So we're up here. It's This is the equivalent. So I went to clip depth, 1.56 tall, which is what my old actual depth was. And now watch. I'm going to bring this slider down. And there is no difference at all in this image at this point. So what's, now you get it down here. What's the problem? What's going on? Here's what's going on. Okay, so I've set that slider back up the top and I'm gonna show you what's going on in this print. So you can kind of see a hint of it right here. Let me zoom in. You see this right here? That is a tall spike coming up over the model. A little hard to get right in the frame, but you see this? Yeah, that's coming up a significant amount from the model. Sometimes you get these because you have one little white speck of the background that didn't get removed or something like that. You can see another one here. Now, fortunately, uh, version 0.7.0, uh, the mesh build, has a fix for that. Uh, the median filter or the spike filter will get rid of that for you. Um, that is actually what smoothing was originally for. Um, but, of course, when I do that, I really do need to update this actual depth. So that's one of the things that's going to change um, before I release, is I'm going to go ahead and update what the actual depth is on the mesh based on smoothing and everything. But in any case, that may be a cause, and that's actually kind of concerning, right? You went from 1.56 millimeters tall to 1.12 millimeters tall. That is a huge drop in height. That's, you know, uh, almost uh, half a millimeter, and yet it didn't affect the print. So... Those are your three main reasons why you might have um, a different height in the slicer than you do in your print, and hopefully that helps you, and I'll see you next time.